feeling right now? Because you're touring now through the US or? Um, um sort of. Like I find like our summers are extremely chaotic and it's like a little bit of leapfrog. So um, we're playing a lot of Canadian stuff. We're playing some stuff in Europe. and But yeah, right now we're playing some festivals in, uh, in America. But today we're actually opening for the Rolling Stones and it's very, very strange day. I, I can't imagine. I had a couple nightmares about it last night. Oh, really? <laughs> what were the nightmares? Um, the first, the first time I mayor I had the like the first time I played with them, I was like, I was scared that I would forget all the words. But this one, for some reason, my nightmares. My band wants me to cover a Justin Timberlake song, <laughs> like fifteen minutes before we go on. They tell me this. So I keep singing this one song over and over again. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Which song was it? Oh, God. I can't. Uh, Cry Me River. Cry Me River. I was <laughs> going to yeah. say that. <laughs> I had to sing it because I can, I can sing it in my head. And, but then I, I don't know the name, but it's Cry Me River. For yeah. Sure. Oh, that's so awesome. But are you, are you uh, nervous or are you also uh, just saying we're going to rock this? This is going to be awesome. It's a bit of both. I mean, I feel like this This sounds so bad. I've been so tired and like we've been working so much that I haven't had like time to uh, really think about it too much. Mm -hmm. But now that now that like I'm about to do it. Is that an advantage it, or not? Because I, think, I mean, I like I like working so much. So it's mm -hmm. and I think we all just like to work. So so it's definitely an, an advantage. Um, I think the last time we played with them, we didn't have as much going on. So we were more. We had more time to be anxious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, <laughs> yeah. but it's going to be fine. We're going to manifest oh, it. You're going to rock it. It's going to be great. It's yeah. going to be great. And the second you get on stage, it's going to, you're, the, the, the moment is going to sink in that like what's happening and then we're just all going to have a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I know it's going to be a blast because I saw you guys at down the rabbit hole, uh, two weeks ago, which is insane mm -hmm. that it's already two weeks ago, but it was such a great show because I noticed how much interaction, interaction you guys have with, um, the audience. Um, because at one point I saw Leandra standing on a girl's shoulder. Um, yeah. I saw a a lot of girls kissing each other everyone was making out with each other which i loved um what is your secret to that like getting this kind of vibe uh, in the show that's a really good question um i think there's i think we've generally tried to foster like a very inclusive place like if we ever see anything like any homophobia or sexism or whatever we like generally try to remove that yeah but Beyond that, like that's not really that doesn't really happen at our shows as much because we're very we're a very open people, you know. I think um, if you see our TikToks or listen to our music, listen to our lyrics, watch our music videos, like you can tell that we're very like silly girls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're kind of weirdos. We're very strange, but we're also like a lot of fun. Um, so like when people kind of know to expect that when they come to our show and they know they can like ask us to do silly stuff, like ask the to do a rugby lift and know that they can feel safe kissing their, their partners. Like, which is the thing I think we're most proud of as a band that we've created that space and created that um, community for people to like, listen to our music and have fun and be themselves. Yeah. And have a lot of fun because is there, what were the weird things or maybe the memorable things that happen in one of your shows with the audience can you remember something yeah there was Aus the australians were feral they were they were nuts yeah um why and they they some of them went a little far in terms of like flashing leandra a little too much like that that was that's not maybe something you do i don't think you should do that um but one girl was really funny and she brought a like a clove, like a, a bulb of garlic to the show. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, I still don't really understand this interaction. It's still my favorite one though. She's really funny. She like, she lifted the garlic up and Leandra was doing um her spiel before Edge of the Earth. And she's like, why did you bring a bulb of garlic to the show? And the girl was like, there's an economy crisis. <laughs> 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 And then Leandra's like, still, but why did you bring it to a show? And she's like, none of your business. And um, I, I just love that interaction. And, I think and what did she do with the garlic? Like, did she throw it around? Did she give it to people? Like, or was she just standing with it? 
I think she gave it to Leandra for a second, but then asked for it back because, again, there's like a food crisis there. Right now. <laughs> and she needs, <laughs> she needs some she needs, garlic. She needs some garlic <laughs> her food. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yeah. At your show at um, Down the Rebel, um, you guys mentioned uh, the last dinner party and also the other way around it happened, that they were mentioning you. So um, uh, the big question that I have right now is when is the collab happening between you guys? Uh, we've been The thing is, we've been trying to meet each other for so long and um, uh, both of our singles kind of came out around the same time. I think Blaine Brett came out a little bit before theirs did. Mm-hmm. Um And we'd we'd had this whole thing. I don't know if they they've had it, but we've certainly had it where a lot of people were comparing us, and we had certain radio stations that wouldn't play us. But like we were like, oh, like because they were being played, and I'm sure they had it vice versa. So I was so excited to meet them because I love their stuff and I love their their live performance. I think they sound like Kate Bush and Stevie Nicks. But we just like we weren't we were just missing each other and then finally this little euro jaunt that we both did we we played roskilda together mm-hmm. and uh, together and you know i think we're both we were both kind of shy to say hi to each other <laughs> but then <laughs> then they kind of i think we went up to them at breakfast and then they came and watched our whole set at down the rabbit hole and we were supposed to we had an earlier bus call but we pushed it we were like we have to see their show yeah oh, it's like cool Yeah, so, no, we're just really thrilled. We're going to hang out the next time we're in London, maybe start a super group. I know, that would be like the greatest thing ever, that you guys are going to perform all together, like if it's even for one night. So we're wondering, is it going to happen? Like, are you guys planning something like that? Would you want to plan something like that? I'm super down, even if it's just for one night and not like a musical collab. um, I think that would be super sick. And... um, Yeah, it would be fuck. It would be super empower, empowering, super awesome. Um, it makes me feel really happy and proud that like it's the women that are kind of dominating the yeah. the indie scene now. Um, and it, it makes it makes me feel like we should be like doing these collabs more often and celebrating that, celebrating our like both of our success. But yeah, I I don't know because nothing's nothing's in the work as of yet. But I, I hope it, I hope it will. I hope it will because that would be yeah. really really awesome. Um, there's so there's so much fun. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. So I think it will be a lot of fun when you're all together. Like everyone wants to be there. I think it will be it's sold fun. out like in seconds. <laughs> oh, totally. it'd be it'd be like here comes trouble on stage times <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah, and we all want to be a part of it. Um, speaking yeah. of um, uh, your Down the Rabbit Hole show, um, you were all wearing white t-shirts with uh, personality traits on it. Um, Antisocial, maladjusted, non-committal, can be trusted. First of all, yeah. why is this not merchandise? Because I need it. Oh, we're working on it. Really? We're working on it. Oh, that's yeah, so good. <laughs> I wanted to see what... Um, we always love like when you can do like a Choose Your Player Beaches merch item. We think it's funny that way. Yeah. Um, it's also, it's like, um, we wanted to see it because it's, it's basically, those are the lyrics in the pre of our of our new song, Takes yeah. One to Know What. We were just trying to do a little promo for it to get people excited. But I'm, I think they look really, really good. I love them. I really love them. I was like, I need to wear them, like not wear a bra as well and just like go for <laughs> it. And I would be really happy with that. Um, Which one would <laughs> I don't know. I think that the one that you were uh, um, wearing, the maladjusted. Yeah. 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 I was thinking about it and I thought maybe that's the one that would say the most about me. Is it also your personality trait or is it just something that you were wearing? Uh, no, it's definitely me. I mean, the girls nominated me as maladjusted from the get-go. So, <laughs> <laughs> And why is that? I don't know. I think it's it's crazy. I do. Yeah, I would say I am like maybe the, the most maladjusted in the band in terms of like my personality. I'm definitely a little uh, loosey-goosey up there. I can party <laughs> the hardest. <laughs> I love that. Definitely mess up the most. Um <laughs> But it's but I think I'm also adjusted in knowing that about myself and being okay with it. I don't know. Loving I'm going- loving that part of yourself as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. But I was wondering because um, uh, you already said it, like antisocial, maladjusted, non-committal can be trusted. It's the lyrics of the new uh, uh, single from you guys that uh, released last week. Um, takes yeah. one to no one. Um, 
there's one lyric that really stood out to me um, the most in this song is um, you made your therapist cry and I thought that was hilarious. It, it, it is about a relationship, right? This song. It's, it's about, um, it's actually, I just, um, I just, I started dating somebody new. It's quite serious. We moved in together. Um, and right before we were moving in together, we were kind of going through that, like, uh, that spot in a relationship that a lot of people go through when you're like kind of analyzing each other's flaws being like oh should we do this this is kind of crazy <laughs> we're both kind of crazy we're both kind of dickheads like <laughs> <laughs> do we bring out the best or the worst <laughs> in each other i mean both and um it's just you know it's about a very specific relationship and we're still together he's being quite cool about me <laughs> talking about candidly um But yeah, I thought like, what a good, I'm always trying to, especially with relationships, I'm trying to, I always try to think about like, what's a new sort of take or a new twist, like a new sort of way to look at, look at something that's like been written about so many times. Mm -hmm. And then I just, but like, well, how do I look at it through, through my own perspective and through my own relationship? And then I'm like, maybe I do have a penchant for complicated people like, like Brett and like my current boyfriend, because I'm very complicated. And then I sort of like, I kind of felt like there's a bit of euphoria in that, just like admitting that I'm part of the problem too. And that it's okay to be in a complicated relationship. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad. It, it doesn't even, because it doesn't feel like um, um, a bad relationship if you um, uh, listen to the song or look at the lyrics. Because it, for me, it felt like it was um, um, just taking a good look in the mirror as well, like, and just getting to know yourself better, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm glad you picked out that line because that never happened, but I wish it had because I think that's really, I, I just was like, What's the most, I, that line is like, what's the funniest thing that I could put here? And then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make your ther therapist cry. <laughs> <So> <laughs> But is it something that, what, what is the thing that um, you learned about yourself in this relationship? Because it's a particular kind of relationship that you have right now. Yeah, I think, I think I realized that like, I have a, I have a, I have a penchant for these complicated artistic people. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think I realized like that's kind of how I am. I think like I go for people who are who are like me, who are kind of very stubborn and can be pickheaded sometimes and extremely emotional. Um, but that that I'm kind of that because I'm like that, maybe I'm and because maybe because maybe I've realized that that's who I am now, like I'm maybe ready for the relationship more than I was with Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, Brett, <laughs> the man that we all know now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the real person. <laughs> yeah. I feel I, like this new is kind of just me exploring a lot of that and also exploring like Le Leandra exploring her flaws, Kylie exploring her flaws. And yeah, it's it's a bit more self-reflected. It's like self-reflected party girls, reflective party girls. It's like sort of the vibe with a new record <laughs> but i love that about this age that you're just getting to know each other getting to know yourself i think deeper and deeper getting to understand like why you do particular things in your life or make uh, some kind of decision so i love it mm -hmm. that it's also in your song so we can uh, um yeah get to know each yeah. other through the songs yeah for sure and if people also relate to that then they can sort of look at their own sort of relationships or their own identities within themselves and their own flaws. And yeah, I think when music can do that, it's really, really powerful and awesome. Yeah. I love that. And um, because can we expect a new album soon or are you guys working on it or is there any information that you can give? It's being worked on. It's um, a lot of it is done. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to write a little bit more after our touring is done in September. Mm -hmm. So we should have a record out. Uh, coming your way i want to say next year oh my god maybe early yeah. 2025 will be the year i love it i was new record yeah <laughs> i love it well thank you so much for your time and um uh enjoy tonight thank you so much hopefully i get a kiss from mick we'll see we'll see yeah. what happens oh my god well we're gonna watch the socials and see everything that's happening over there so <laughs> thank <laughs> you right. so much Thank you so much for playing the new song. No worries, we love it. All right. <laughs> Thank See you. Later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.